You guys might recognize this restaurant from that famous scene in When Harry Met Sally, when uh, Sally was having the uh, orgasm at the table. Remember that? Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Do it right now. Okay, okay, ready? I'm gonna do it how I, I normally orgasm. Okay. Okay, you ready? Ah, s***. <laughs> there you go. I'm Timothy De La Ghetto. And I'm David So. We travel around to different food festivals where we eat all the eats, we drinks all the drinks, and we get all types of crazy while giving you guys the most raw and realest food reviews in the game. This is Send Foods. Hallelujah, God bless you, you sexy mother. Welcome back to another episode of Send Foods. I'm Timothy De La Ghetto. And I'm David So. <sighs> Today we are back in beautiful New York City at the Wine and Food Festival, the WFF. And I'm <laughs> ready. What are you excited to eat tonight, bro? I think I'm excited for some short rib and some bone marrow. I think I'm ready for that dinosaur barbecue, brother, because I feel like it's going to be really big the size of my 32 inch pythons, brother. <laughs> So, tonight's event is actually a special barbecue event. It's called the Titans of Barbecue. So we about to experience all types of different barbecue and I love just a nice juicy piece of meat with some nice tangy, spicy, saucy sauce on it. You ready to eat? I am so ready to eat. Let's do it. Uh, I pooped. Devil with who are you, sir? Ed Randolph, Pitmaster Handsome Devil Barbecue. Ed Randolph, Pitmaster Handsome Devil Barbecue. All right, now what are we about to do right now? We got a 200 pound whole hog here from Hudson Valley, New York, out of Yorkshire, whole hog here. This little lady here has been cooking for 14 hours at 200 degrees, a little bit of maple, and a little bit of applewood. Wow. Woo! You boys ready? Yeah. So ready. Do what you do. Fun. Shout out to vegans. Oh my God, Woo! right in the ass. Right in the, stab him in the back. Oh! Woo! So boys, this is where the gold is. Wow, y'all missing out over there. This is where the good stuff is. So let me call our barbecue spaghetti right here. It's a little bit for you, it should be a little Oh more. my God, thank oh, you so much. Right there. Damn, son. You get right, right off the hog, I just baby. Sliced it right open and give me a piece. This is kind of feels Thank good. you. This feels so like I feel like a like a man right now. I feel so blessed. I feel like it's so, so blessed. It, Hallelujah. Amen. Oh my God. That's crazy. You don't even need any sauce with that. Nah, that's it. A little bit of love, I mean, man. That's that it. fat is just melted into every little piece of meat. It's so good. You let it so. render down nice and easy and let all that fat just like render in there. The nice salty is a little sweet. I love that. And it's tender as hell. That's it. It's so mm. tender. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. That was amazing. Appreciate you coming out. Thank to you the so much. You're a genius. Boys. You're a genius. Cheers, so Cheers boys. Cheers, everybody. Wow. All right, so man, slicing that pig open. Getting up in there, getting that tender ass meat was so fire. Now, are you ready for some more meat in your mouth? Of course, Tim. I already had some this morning. Oh, there's no flashback for that. Uh, can, we, can we get? <laughs> Hello, sir. Who are you? How What's are my you? Name? My name is James. James, James how are you? And I'm, I own Carnal, yeah, based out of Brooklyn, New York. Bro, this is so. This thick. looks thick, hefty. Woo! Yeah. So it's a short rib that we cook for 24 hours in the fat of rendered bone marrow. So you get this really crazy beefy. That you guys are gonna taste. Hell sorry yeah. if I swear, I'm sorry about that. No, 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 no. Oh no, nobody cares. Okay. Look yeah. at that. Okay, so all these are comb feed in the marrow fat. Yeah. Wow. It's like, you know, like people would do the duck legs, yeah. in their own fat. Yes. This is the same thing, gentle cooking, immerse it completely in fat, and then finish it over hot coals. You oh, crazy. Amazing. I know, y'all, honestly, we're the, we're the wild cards here. Yeah. We don't have a restaurant. We're just hustling our way into notoriety. Hell yeah. But we have the most flavorful bite of food here, honestly. I and I like this guy. Yo, nice, appreciate nice, you, man. Appreciate you, guys. Sir. Thank you. All right. This looks crazy. First of all, right at the bat, man. I love that guy. I like dude. that guy. Support Carnal, all right? This is actually the food that I was looking for to the most. They comb feed the short rib in bone marrow. And you know what? When you eat too much of that, you get you get to start feeling really comb feed. <laughs> that one actually got me a little bit. All right, you got me. You got me. Where'd you go? Let's eat. This looks like some red velvet cake. Wow. It's so thick. 
fucking wild. Oh, how did he even cut the bone? Oh my god. They finish it off with a little bit of like flaky salt too. Cheers. I just uh, had an experience in my pants and it was messy. Doing it in the bone marrow? My God. Dude, with that beet relish on top. Oh! That salty, fatty tenderness is like, when I bit into it, I felt like I was making out with somebody. That's how like sexual this was. Oh my God. What I like about it too, it still has some bite to it. It doesn't like completely fall apart where you pick it up and it'll just like collapse in on itself. Damn! Wow. Wow. It's like, you know when you hook up with a girl and you look at her and you can't believe how like attractive she is and you're like, wow, why do I deserve this? Like with my wife. When I, like every day when I look at my wife in the morning, I say, oh my God, I don't deserve to be waking up to her. This is how I feel being blessed enough to eat this piece of meat right here. Yeah, you're already in trouble, dude. Forget <laughs> it. <laughs> and speaking of having an experience in my pants, we went to the famous Katz's Delicatessen where they shot that infamous experience in your pants scene and tried some of their delicious pastrami sandwiches. What's up, y'all? So we're here at the famous Katz Delicatessen in, what part of New York is this? Lower East Side, homie. In the Lower East Side of New York City where they are famous for, what are they famous for? They are famous for the hot pastrami on fry. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, you hurt me. All right, as you can see, we got a nice, sexy, sexy little spread here. Ah. We got that, uh, 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 thick, juicy pastrami. We All rye breads. Rye We got bread. these pickles on the side with mm -hmm. that acidity with this fatty meat. Mm -hmm. And then we have lakas, which is a fried potato dish. It's typically served with applesauce and sour cream. Oh, man. Mm. Look at that shit, dude. Oh, that's beautiful. You see that, man? Pastrami is brine first. It's usually a brisket, a beef brisket that they'll brine overnight and they'll smoke it. And that's why you have like this dark crust on the outside. It'll be like black pepper and whatever uh -huh. seasonings that they like. The crust is like the best part. Oh, of course, man. Oh. So it has to be brined and it has to be smoked. Then it becomes pastrami. Let's get, is that what it is? Yeah. Cheers. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, mm. Yeah. Mm. oh my god. Ah! No! Oh. I'll have what he's having. <laughs> That's just a good sound. Oh! You have to eat it with the pickle. Hey. Because no matter how good it is, and there's mustard in there as well to kind of cut that fat, but you need this crunchy pickle mm -hmm. to break it all up, add that freshness to it. Oh! Did you already have the lockdown, you stupid son of a bitch? <laughs> you were talking too much, though. What the f did you have it, you son of a bitch? It was getting cold. <laughs> Look at that, it's almost like mashed potatoes on the inside. Sour cream and a little bit of that sweet tangy applesauce. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. The version of lockdowns that they have here is different than the one that I had it. I had it more like a, a hash brown where it was where it was grated down and it was put into a patty after. Okay. This one kind of has more of like a doughy bread texture, like a pancake texture on the inside. Oh yeah. Oh. 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 So what do we have here, David So Comedy? We have a prime rib beef sandwich Ooh. with the au jus. Yeah. Also, just to kick it up a notch, and like we always say, fatty with a little acid, always great. So they yes. add a little jardinier in it. Um, if you What's have like jardinier? It's like these pickled pickle peppers, like oh. saw little pickle peppers. Pickle relish, pickle okay. relish pepper thing that you put on it. It's really good. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Man. Mm. Oh yeah. Wow. That jardinier is extra jardinery. That's. <laughs> and yourself with that one, huh? And that was good. And that yours, was uh, good. That was good. This is actually a Chicago beef style sandwich. So the jus, mm. the jardinier, the fucking beef that's basically dipped, it reminds me of a Chicago beef style sandwich. Yeah, um, it's really tasty. Uh, the sourness of the uh, jardinier, is that what's going on there? Is that what's making that little bit like sour acidy kick uh -huh. to it? The meat itself is super tender, super soft, and the bread's nice and flaky and soft and 
just delicious. Get a good kick from that mustard in there too. Oh, I'm gonna do like in grade school, put the chips in my sandwich. Oh. Oh man. Take some nice potato chips, put them in my sandwich. Oh. I like this, man. Just like the sandwiches are one of those foods that's very familiar for everybody, but there's always awesome ways to kick it up a notch, man. That Chicago style beef dip. That's really good. All right, so we got these ribs here from Dinosaur Barbecue. I'm not gonna lie, brother, I'm a little disappointed, brother. I thought these were gonna be the giant Dino ribs. Dinosaur ribs. How do you all call yourself dinosaur ribs? And it's a regular ass, little dinky ass rib. I mean, I mean, it looks great, but like, come on, dog. It's not about the size, Tim. Oh, I'm, trust me. It's about the way the d tastes. <laughs> dinosaur ribs. Looks like a regular size rib, but let's see what it tastes like. They've got a nice little dry rub on there, it looks like. A little St. Louis style pork ribs. You can see that wonderful smoke ring, so I already know they did a great job on it. Oh, ooh, okay. Super tender. Uh-huh. Meat falls right off the bone. Yeah. A nice little kick on that dry rub. Spicy, sweet, salty. I love the crust that was developed on it. It's almost like jerky-like. It's yeah. salty on the outside, like oh. that interior. Very juicy very moist. If you guys don't know about the smoke ring that I'm talking about, it's that nice pink hue that you'll see on the edge of the meat. And that's a smoke ring that you want. That means that smoke has penetrated through the meat and it's cooked in that smoke for a very long time. If you like ribs, then you better put a ring on it. Something a little spicy in the beans too. Yeah. What is that? Look, I, I mean, I like beans. I like straight out the can and regular ass beans. But these, you can tell they add a little, I don't know, like maybe it's just pepper even. I think it's just some extra pepper in there. Something adds a little nice little kick to it, switches it up a little bit. Fire! Okay, dinosaur ribs. Dinosaur barbecue. Dinosaur ribs. Dinosaur barbecue. Whatever the it is. Good job. And speaking of food with a little bit of a kick to it, we stopped by a staple out here in these NY streets. A kung fu place. What? A kung fu place. Are there a lot of those out here? I don't know. What the f? <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, oh, a little bit of kick to it. Is that the joke? Yeah. Oh. And you said, what the? Okay, that's funny. You're, that's funny. This what the f was so disgusted <laughs> of a joke. I, yo, that shit's hilarious. I just did it. I was like, what are you talking about? I've never seen a man that looked at me with so much hate in my life. <laughs> so we went to Halal Guys on 53rd and 6th to get the classic chicken and rice <laughs> combination with that spicy, spicy sauce. <laughs> What's up, y'all? We are in front of the famous Halal Guys cart out here in Manhattan. This place is one of my favorite spots ever. Ever. Let me tell you, <laughs> when I first started coming to New York for shows and whatnot, my New York homies were like, yo, we leaving the club, we gotta go to the Halal Guys on 53rd and 6th. Don't get too much red sauce, lots of white sauce. And I was like, oh. Man, you got a good friend because they told me to get extra red sauce. <laughs> and I got <laughs> up. <laughs> oh, oh! How you doing? Hey, how are you today? Good, how, how are you, you Tim? Nice to meet you. It's you guys. David, nice to meet you. How nice are you? Nice meeting you guys. What can I do for you guys? Okay, can I get your, uh, can I get the combination, please, with the rice? Combination. Make me a combination, please. Lots of white sauce, a little, little red sauce. All right, it's my shit right here, man. Get a whole lot of white sauce and a little bit of red Yo, sauce. Yo, this red sauce. This shit is so spicy. When I first came here, I <laughs> dumped a whole bunch of this stuff. I had diarrhea for three years. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you something. Like, you know, I enjoy the spicy, right? But that shit right there <laughs> crazy. is no joke. And so when you see it over there, it's kind of cool because they'll have like this, these mounds of meat and they'll take like the gyro, the, the gyro bread gyro. and then put it on top of the meat and it steams on top of it. So this actually kind of tastes like the chicken and the meat as well. Then you have like iceberg lettuce, some, some, some green, what's it, what's it, it's like green bell pepper, some onions, onions. Mm -hmm. on a bed of f***ing rice. Mix it with all the sauce. It's like a mayo based sauce, it's delicious. Let's get it because uh, I haven't had breakfast, so cheers. Look at this orange ass rice. Oh man. Mm. Mm. You know what, man? It, it, it definitely tastes better here than it does in the chain stores. That sauce is crazy. It's like a sweet mayo, almost. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's hard to describe. It's definitely a mayo-based sauce. It's, it's mayonnaise for sure. This, the hot sauce, I don't know what the f it is, but. <laughs> the hot sauce is just straight f***ing like, I don't know, the devil's, the devil's Yeah, for sure. They used, they used to say <laughs> and they might squeeze it out right there, huh? And then you have like this fresh bite from like the iceberg lettuce, the onions, and the bell peppers. It all comes together with that nice fluffy rice. So good, man. And here's the thing about the halal guys. 
you know, most of the time, we said you get it after the club, right? You go home, maybe eat about half of it, tuck it away, you pass out in bed, you wake up at 9, 10, 11, 2 p.m. when it's cold, it's still fire. I love me some cold leftover halal guys too. Yeah, let me tell you something. When I ate this, last time I was Fat David, there was no such thing as leftovers. <laughs> this was gone, bro. And by the way, this cheap as This could be two people easy. Or one Fat David. Yes. <laughs> so this little special little sexy tidbit right here is from Carlitos Barbecue Taqueria. Carlito. Carlito, dad. Now, you know, we're from LA, so we're really familiar with some taquerias and some tacos and some taquitos. And guys named Carlito and being called Chinito. Uh, so what do we have here, David? So, David. we have some slowly cooked beef short ribs, uh, micro cilantro and a nice sauce on top, and a fresh corn tortilla. And guess what, handmade in-house corn. Woo, I love a good fresh corn tortilla, dog. Mm, you, can, you can smell the Take that corn, you'll break your teeth. No, 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 oh, we got the little elote inside too? Oh, oh yes. Mm, oh, 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 yeah. mm, oh, God. Mm, yeah. Oh, my God. I would mm. like a little more of this, actually. Oh, that's all so good. Oh, my God. Well, here we go. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. 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 It's such a good move with that because mm. even though it's beef, it actually reminds me of like carnitas, but just the beef style of it. You love cilantro, right? I love cilantro, man. I f with cilantro so heavy. A lot of people don't. A lot of people say it tastes like soap. You say it's a genetic thing, right? Y'all weird. That delicious, like, what is that? Like a like a crema of some sort? Some kind of that crema? That avocado crema. Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah, that's really good. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, this is tasty. And you can tell everything is, you know, it's so fresh, man. The tortillas, the meat is like, you know, they, like they cook it slowly. Lots of love in there and the fucking crema. You know, one thing that everybody's doing well here is smoking the sh out of things here. Yo. They didn't come here to fucking play. Not gonna lie, I thought coming to a uh, a barbecue festival was gonna feel like, oh, this is overkill, this is too much barbecue for me. But everybody has done like such a good job of preparing it in their own way and adding their own like nice little spice and flavor to it and cooking the meat just perfectly. Yeah. It's great. Everybody's doing their own thing here and I fucking love it. Cause this is the NYCWFF, brother. It's the one in Food yeah. Festival, brother. He's going for the championship, brother. All right, so here we have this little uh, open face sandwich situation from Truth Barbecue. What do we have here, David? This is another beef short rib. Cooked low and slow, and this one's cooked low and slow as because it all fell apart. And as I mentioned before in another dish, you already know when it comes to smoked barbecue, they gotta have that pickled chip. And we have that nice, nice pickled onion. This smells amazing, let me tell you. This looks great because it's just on some simple ass white bread. It takes me back to like back in the day and it's like, you're hungry, hamburger patties go on this, hot dogs go on this. All you need is a nice fluffy piece of white bread, good with everything. Cheers. Boom. Okay. Bomb. Okay. Okay. That mm. sweet pickled onion, mm. the little zest from the dill pickles, that fatty beef short rib, all wrapped up in the soft piece of white bread. I mean, f it, right? So it. Good. Man, I could feel all that fat in my mouth. It's like coating my lips like chapstick. It's like it's like we're back at Cat's Deli again. You know what I'm saying? Oh! 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 I feel that tastes good. Ow! Oh! A very painful orgasm. <laughs> Holy sh! Hey, that's delicious. Oh wait, here, here, here. You want? Can you take this for me, dog? Yep. Here that's we go. That's my photographer right there. Yeah. He got it. He knows how to do it. Yeah. Good. One, two, three. Tim's famous. Tim's Say it. Famous. Thank you. Appreciate you, man. No problem. You <laughs> ah, Tim's famous. Ah, yes. Timmy. What? Oh, you motherfucker! Ah! Uh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. I thought you were gonna eat. I was like, no! Oh, 
Oh my goodness, hallelujah, Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre, venga a nosotros, tu reino, hágase tu voluntad. Yes, in the name of the Son of God. Amen. Is that a Korean? Is that the Our Father in Korean? No, uh, that means like in, something like and how you and your parents in Korean. <laughs> what we're trying to say is thank you, Lord, for this food because everything was fire up oh, here today. No, you Lord, you exercised the demons out of people, but you should have exercised my belly because I got damn I'm fat. Mmm, -hmm, Lord, he's so damn fat, Lord. Mm -hmm. Everything was so fire today. What was your favorite thing you ate today, dog? Oh man, dude, that's so hard to say because I think everybody here came to show what they motherfucking had. When it's a barbecue competition, yeah. people don't fucking play, man. Yeah. But I gotta say, the best bite that I had simply because I ate it off that 200 fucking pound sow mm -hmm. was the first thing that we ate. It was that piece of juicy, delicious mm. pork belly just ripped out of the fucking pig, stuffed it in my Ooh. mouth. Oh, oh, we that's fire. But I think my favorite had to be from Carnal, bro. That like little thick, that super thick, super salty, super fatty confit. Short rib. Short rib. Beef rib. Beef rib. Oh my god, it was so good. I, I literally, I zoned out for a second. I felt like I was making love to that thing with my mouth. I think that dish today was the one that had the most amount of thought and finesse to it. Yeah. Right? Like he definitely stepped his game up. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, NYC WFF Wine and Food Festival for having us because that's right there. That was just a, a treat. And as always, we love reading you guys' comments, so keep leaving comments because we might just highlight some, like Danielle Silva, who says she lives for these damn puns. Laugh my ass off. Thank you, Danielle. And shout outs to Avid B that says, David's laugh makes me happy. Got <laughs> 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 <Cut> that! <laughs> 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 Oh, you guys are great. Thank you for watching another episode of Send Foods on Thrillist. And make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'm Timothy De La Ghetto. And I'm David Sal. Thanks for watching, yeah, bitch. Hallelujah. <laughs>